Hi, everybody. I wanted to go over your challenge vocab words. I realized I did not get to this yesterday. So here they are. Um, you have four challenge vocab words. As usual, they need to be defined. That means you need to get the definitions along with your other vocab words. So at the very bottom, you can put those down. You should be doing all of your vocab words, rainbow writing, writing in a story, um, breaking apart the um, syllables, whatever works for you. You can either take a picture of it if you do it in your book of knowledge or on another piece of paper, or you can do it in a Google Doc. Just add it to the Google Doc and put the date for the week or the date that you do it, just so you can see the different weeks and all the vocab words you're doing in one document. Anyway, I wanted to define what these words are. So the first one is ec ecstatic. So it is extremely happy and excited. I don't know if you can see with the glare, but it means you're, I'm ecstatic to see you guys. That means I am just overjoyed. I'm super happy and excited to see you. It's an adjective, so it describes how you're feeling. The next one is associate. Associate, when we associate something, it's a verb. It's an action. It means that we're thinking of things that go together. So probably for Thanksgiving, you associate it with turkey and mashed potatoes and family. Um, another example would be peanut butter and jelly. You associate those things together. Uh, category. That is a group of items that are alike. So we categorize things. We put them in groups. So these are, this is um, ocean animals. This is a category of jungle animals. And then within those categories, you can even have smaller categories. So ocean animals, sharks, Mr. Max. Um, you can have a group, a category of sharks and all the different types of sharks, different types of fish, different types of coral, those kinds of things. Um, it is a noun, it's a thing. Abundant, abundant means a lot of something. So um, there is an abundance of Easter eggs at Easter. Um, there is abundance of socks in my house that need to get sorted. <laughs> okay, so then you have a lot of something and that's an adjective. You can use it as abundant or abundance. Like there's an abundance of something that um, is just using it in a different context. So those are your four challenge words. Uh, you need to make sure that you write down the definitions. I'll turn off the light to see if that helps, the glare. <laughs> ah, that's better. So you need to write down the words, write down their definitions. Um, you can use them in a sentence if you want for rainbow writing. It's totally up to you, but those are your challenge words.